morning and welcome to NASA TV coverage of Russian Spacewalk number 33. One of several spacewalks planned for Expedition 36, the six crew members of which are living at the station right now. To uh, spacewalkers for today, Theodor Yurchikin and Alexander Masurkin, uh, two Russian spacewalkers, are currently inside the pier's docking compartment and uh, preparing for today's spacewalk by going through their pre-breathe activities. Theodor Yurchikin will be performing his uh, sixth spacewalk. He's had five in the past for a total of 31 hours and 52 minutes, and Alexander Masurkin will be performing his first spacewalk. They have a number of uh, tasks scheduled uh, to complete today in the six-hour-long spacewalk, including some work to get prepared for a uh, future module that will be added to the space uh, to the space station. The multi-purpose laboratory module scheduled to launch later this year. In addition, they'll be replacing a flow control valve that uh, is has reached uh, its expiration date and needs to be replaced to ensure that everything will continue to work in the future on the Russians' uh, cooling system. And then they'll be uh, installing or removing a, a few science experiments as well. Tell you a little bit more about all of the various uh, tasks that the spacewalkers will be working to accomplish today. We have an overview with uh, some graphics that will show you how everything looks. We'll be playing that next here on NASA TV. This is Mission Control Houston. Copy. Uh, Fyodor Yurshikin will be EV-1 wearing the red stripe suit. Alexander Sasha Mysirkin will be EV-2 wearing the blue stripe suit. They will egress the piers or DC-1 module. Sasha will be the first crew member out. Fyodor will hand out the indicator science hardware along with the pressurized container and he will follow. The two crew members will translate around DC-1 to Strela 1's boom and translate up to the service module and FGB interface. Fyodor will hold the pressurized container while Sasha translates up to a Coors connector panel. There he will connect a series of connectors to test out the Coors hardware. Once that's complete, he will inform MCC Moscow that he has connected the connectors. He will translate back to the pressurized container and along with Fyodor will translate up to the FGB and attach the pressurized container to the FGB latching platform. They will open up an MLI panel and disconnect panel number two flow control valve on the FGB. They will remove number two flow control valve and temp stow it. Open up the pressurized container and retrieve the spare flow control valve and install it on the FGB and remating the connector. They will stow the failed flow control valve in the pressurized container. Once that's complete, they will install cable clamps along the FGB to be utilized for a future EVA. They will retrieve the pressurized container and translate back towards DC-1. they will install an additional cable clamps along their way.
Once that's complete, Sasha will translate back to the Coors connector panel and demate the connectors that he mated prior to this. The test should be complete at this time. The crew members will translate back down to Strela 1's boom. and back around DC-1 to temp stow the pressurized container. They will retrieve the indicator science hardware with the science hardware they will translate back up to Strela 1's boom to MRM-2. Here they will install indicator science hardware on MRM2. Once it's installed, the indicator science hardware will be deployed and a connector from the indicator science hardware will be mated to MRM2. Crew members will then translate around MRM2 to retrieve the Nostlevost panel. It'll translate back down Strela 1's boom, back to DC1 and the EVA ladder. Back at DC-1, they will translate to the EVA ladder and stow the Nostlevost panel number two and the pressurized container inside DC-1. They will translate out to the SM or service module and install a series of gap spanners between handrails to be utilized on a future EVA. After the gap spanners are installed, they will demate two connectors from photon gamma from the monoblock and remove photon gamma from the monoblock after installing an MLI cover. I'll translate to the smaller diameter of the service module and temp stow photon gamma, then translating around the smaller diameter of the service module, they will install two additional gap spanners. Once the gap spanners are installed, the crew members will translate back to photon gamma retrieve it and translate it back to DC-1 where Fyodor will ingress, retrieve photon gamma, stow it inside DC-1 and Sasha will follow ingressing DC-1 and closing the hatch. This would conclude Russian EVA-33. Five. Copy. Welcome back. That was a look at uh, the activities that are scheduled for today's space walk, number, Russian space walk number 33. It's scheduled to begin at 8.35. However, that's uh, 
It could be a little earlier, a little late, depending on how these preparations continue to go. The two crew members who will be performing the spacewalk, Theodore Yurchikin and Alexander Masurkin, are already in the pier's docking compartment in their spacesuits and have been going through their pre-breathe protocol. So it's just a matter of time before they're ready to exit the pier's docking compartment and begin today's spacewalk. 20 At the moment, the International Space Station is about 254 miles above the uh, North Pacific Ocean, just off the coast of the Philippines and heading south towards Papua New Guinea. Uh, Be continuing south before they uh, I mean, reach the southernmost portion of this orbit around the Earth and begin to head northeast and into the daylight portion of this orbit. Here on the ground, the team in the International Space Station flight control room is led today by F Flight Director Scott Stover. Seated here on the uh, right-hand side of the screen, next to him are the uh, Capcoms for the day. We were talking with the crew and, and following along on activities. Uh, Jack Fisher and next to him Mike Fink, an astronaut with plenty of spacewalk experience to uh, help keep an eye on activities from the ground and help as needed. On board the International Space Station, of course, uh, Yurchikin and Masurkin are, as I said, inside the pier's docking compartment. Their uh, crewmates are spread around the International Space Station a bit. Uh, Chris Cassidy and uh, Pavel Vinogradov are both inside their Soyuz TMA 08M. That's uh, necessary because uh, due to the location of the piers and the hatches that need to be closed, they will be cut off from. Uh, they would be cut off from that uh, Soyuz during the uh, spacewalk, and if there were an emergency and they needed to make their way to it, they wouldn't be able to. So instead. Uh, They'll spend the duration of the six-hour long spacewalk inside of that Soyuz just in case it's needed, in the unlikely event that it's needed, while uh, their crewmates, Karen Nyberg and Luca Parmitano, um, will have access to their uh, Soyuz without any special uh, accommodations needed. So they'll have basically free run of the uh, U.S. side of the space station in which to continue their work for the day. Also, I was going to let you know Once the spacewalkers are ready to exit the pier's docking compartment and begin the spacewalk, uh, engineer Alexander Masurkin will be the first out of the airlock, and he will be wearing a blue striped, striped spacesuit that marks him as uh, EV-2, the uh, second spacewalker, and uh, Fyodor Yurchikin will be wearing the spacesuit marked with a red stripe to indicate his status as EV-1, as he's the more experienced spacewalker. Again, he is, has uh, five spacewalks under his belt already, total of 31 hours and 52 minutes of uh, time spent spacewalking while Ms. Serkin will be performing his first spacewalk today. They'll both have some time, or some chances to add additional time to their totals before the end of their stay at the space station. This is the first of four planned spacewalks for Expedition 36, and actually the third spacewalk for this year. Pressure. 
speaking simultaneously. Make sure you don't uh, practically unchange. Uh, could you clarify the message? Uh, the message uh, is on and is remaining, or did it just blink through? Okay. Speaking simultaneously. Open EVA. Yes. And O2. Uh, but it says 7, um, uh, to 8, 730. Copy. Dimitri, question. Is uh, the fan going to remain on? Dimitri, the fans are, are you talking about uh, DC-1? Yes. We can just turn them off. Uh, 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 in two part, uh, the fans should be off. Okay, uh, we will turn them off. We copy, we hear them uh, humming in the background. Go to the space parameters. You have time. concentration numbers. Dr. Nikolaj, could you report on the manual pressure gauge reading? Uh, 11 uh, decimal 5, uh, stable in 5 minutes have left. Copy. Uh, CO2 pressure is showing zero millimeters. Coffee is just our telemetry um, was malfunctioning, so I just wanted to double check to be on the safe side. Everything is nominal. You can go back to the uh, main menu on the screen. Okay, copy. Dr. Nikolaevich, you can um, work uh, page um, one, transitioning to space independent power. Pressure uh, zero three eight uh, zero three eight EV one EV two. Prime, standard prime pump. Um, 
deactivating, uh, switching to independent power and activating. AV2 prime transmitter is on, on independent uh, power prime uh, pump. Present on, and also pump and uh, prime center on. Could you tell us the um, voltage uh, 27 decimal zero for EV1? Copy. Uh, EV2, 27 decimal one. Copy. That's good. Okay. Sasha, activate the um, activate the tow mode. I don't think we need the cue cards anymore. Um, you can just give us some tips. Yes, um, you deactivated the bow power. Yes, bow power is off. SL1, IV1, EV2 are deactivating. Deactivating. Now connect the electrical umbilicals and close the electrical connector with MLI. Copy. And cover the uh, connectors with MLI. Okay, copy. V2 electrical umbilical is disconnected, uh, stowing the umbilicals. After you close the electrical connection to the MOA, you can uh, demate the onboard uh, fluid. You can uh, mate fluid umbilical. As you can hear, the uh Okay. Preparations for today's spacewalk are proceeding quickly. Ske spacewalk scheduled to begin at 8.35 a.m. Central Time. It couldn't begin a little bit early. The crew members are already, uh, as I said earlier, in the piers, docking compartment, and in their spacesuits, and have been making their way through the checklist, the tasks that have to be accomplished before they can open the hatches on the piers and uh, begin today's spacewalk. Inaudible. Once they do head out and begin the spacewalk, the first uh, task that they will work on completing is to connect a series of uh, connectors for KERS hardware. It's um, the docking or the antenna system that allows uh, vehicles to dock with the Russian segment of the space station. They're going to be making a series of connections on that hardware and performing a test in preparation for the arrival of the multi-purpose laboratory module later this year. Uh, close the uh, connector with a life lab. Copy. Oh, 
how you do it. Inaudible. Now on the it should be the counter in the left corner, um, independent counter should be incrementing. 27.02 for EV2, 27.01 for EV1. One minute. Sasha, what is the prime thing pressure, Sasha, for you? Uh, for 18, 418 atmospheres, uh, could you tell us the uh, institute pressure? 036, um, 037 for EV2. And I also uh, hear the supplies going on. Okay, I'm going to hand you over to Sergey. I wish you a successful operation and we'll uh, meet with you during uh, repress. Okay, thank you, Dmitry. Uh, we will talk to you later. Daughter Sasha, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. Sasha, Fyodor, tell us what the pressure is in the compartment. And by one. I moved away from that spot. Pressure is uh, 12 millimeters. Okay, copy, Sasha. Start opening if you hatch. Сергей started на ключе открытия в рабочем положении. Okay, we're going to uh, turn around and we'll start reporting. Так Николаевич, is it convenient? Yes. Flight engineers, Vyotr Yurchikin and Alexander Misurkin are preparing to open the hatches on the piers docking compartment uh, so that they can begin today's spacewalk. So uh, the scheduled 8.35 a.m. Central Time start of that spacewalk may be just a couple of minutes early. Spacewalk scheduled for last for six hours. By the hatch, I'm monitoring. Uh, the flag is in the working position. The key is in. Copy. Okay. The screws are to a hard stop, and the handles on the loops are facing each other, and they're in the closed position. Okay, I'm ready for the hatch opening. Okay, I'm uh, ready to execute. Execute. Uh, we uh, see the rollers. We feel the rollers moving. The rollers are, are out there in the hatch. I am pressing it. Go ahead. Now hurry, Fodor. Uh, look at the manual pressure gauge. Yes, I'm looking. Yes, I feel um, by the handle I'm holding it open. There is some left. Other house pressure. Sergey, I have to go back now. 
Ну, а куда ты спешил? So why were you in such a hurry? Okay, the pressure is four millimeters. Okay, let's uh, try and get it down to zero. Yeah, so you press it. Uh, yeah, I'm actually holding it that way. And actually release. That's what I'm doing. Two millimeters. Copy. Try and uh, Sasha, try it. Let's wait a couple more minutes or so. Федор, помнишь нашу крылатую фразу? Федор, помнишь нашу крылатую фразу? Force. Yes, Sasha, you can try and open it if you'd like. Alrighty. Okay, pulling it towards myself and uh, opening the hatch. The hatch is open. So there, uh, wait, don't pull it too hard. Of course, of course. I'm waiting for you. Can you not pull it that hard, please? We have about 10 minutes to insulation, so you have all the time in the world. Please proceed. Uh, nice and slowly. Okay, Sergey. Can you move a little to the right? Uh, give me a second for this. If hatch is open. Copy. And the hatch cover is secured. And the tether is tightened. Copy. Spacewalkers Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Masikrin now officially started today's spacewalk. It began at 8.31 a.m. Central Time. Crew members are now uh, getting ready to actually exit the pier's docking compartment and uh, get started on their list of activities. Masikrin will be the first one out of uh, piers, and he'll be followed by Yurchikin, who will first uh, hand him some uh, si scientific experiment hardware and also a pressurized container that has uh, the flow control valve that they'll be replacing on the uh, on Russian the segment side. cooling system. And Sasha, go ahead and look on top and the bottom. And don't forget the lace. Don't worry, no worries. We'll do everything as prescribed, Sergey. Is your tether where it's supposed to be? My tether? Of course. My lock is secured. Okay. Both spacewalkers today are wearing uh, 
U.S. helmet cameras over their Russian spacesuits. So once they do get out of the airlock, we hope to be able to have an up close view of uh, the tasks that they're working on. Okay, you're go to activate your sublimators. And work. Again, today, spacewalk has officially begun now. It started at 8.31 a.m. Central Time when the crew opened the hatches on the pier's docking compartment. Now they're working to uh, actually exit the pier's docking compartment. Today, spacewalk is the 169th for space station assembly and maintenance and uh, the third spacewalk for this year. There are several more scheduled, however, including two U.S. spacewalks coming up in July. Sasha, you are go to start uh, egressing. Copy, Sergei. And before you do that, actually, before egressing, let's uh, turn on the video cameras. Okay, let's do it. Sasha, go ahead and turn around, and actually you can probably reach it from here. So there, stand by. I will turn it so that my tether is on this side. And uh, I'm right next to you. The green light is not visible. Yes, it's